America deserves reparations from France, from England, from all the European powers. Africa should get reparations. So one project we can all work on together is reparations for African people all over the world. And the last thing I want to say is the great W.E.B. Du Bois called four Pan-African Congresses from the beginning, five Pan-African Congresses from the beginning of the 20th century. In 1970, the Congress of African People had the sixth Pan-African Congress in the United States. Today, I am calling for a worldwide convention movement, and we need a Pan-Africanist Congress for the 21st century, and I think Newark, New Jersey should be the whole city. Thank you. Uh, Sister Barbara, I'd just like to say in reference to President Trump, my teacher has taught us that if you don't know what was, you can't know what is, and you'll be ill prepared for what is yet to come. So when we see what Trump is doing, this is the modus operandi, this is the routine practice of Caucasian people collectively. Uh, the Caucasian is a kleptomaniac. Meaning he has a real problem and issue with stealing and taking things that does not belong to him. He stole us, our brothers and sisters who are now coming back to their original homeland. This is theirs. Texas was theirs. But like every other place and every other ethnic group of people, we came in and we took it with force. We did the same thing in South Africa. We took their land. And now they have to fight back to get right to land that they own. It's theirs. So what we see Trump doing today is what him and his ancestors has always done. It's nothing new. And as time goes on, I believe all of us will begin to recognize that this man is absolutely disagreeable to live with in peace. So Trump is not the problem. But the problem is us and our ignorance of him and his people. Brain. Money. Anything out of Africa is anti-Africa success. Anything that is not willing to give back to Africa, give back to the Caribbean, give back to black race is against black race. So let us look forward to bringing investment to Africa, bringing investment to the Caribbean, bringing investment to African America, but not taking anything away from us and giving it to a foreign body, please. I will go into detail of systemic slavery as time goes on, but today is not the day. Unity is imperative. As a representative of the foremost king in Nigeria, we appreciate what the president of Ghana, President Kufuado, is doing. The first president to come to table with Guyana and sign an agreement. And Guyana and Ghana become his sisters in a country where a Ghanaian can travel to Guyana visa free for a period of them three months and vice versa. I think that's a, a, a movement and I think that's a way forward for Africa. When these things start happening, we are making progress because Nigerians, Ghanaians are traveling to Libya and being enslaved is Libya. How could we be enslaved in our own continent? It is disgusting. So we have to be very smart and open our eyes to what is going on around us. Slavery still continues, and we will not embrace it, and we will continue to stand as one Africa, regardless of your geographical location. As far as you believe that the red blood run through you, you should help Africa. You should build Africa. Don't try to take away from Africa. Don't try to take away from the Caribbean because they have taken our strength, they have taken our soul, they have taken our resources, they have taken everything that we have. They now realize they cannot take any of those things anymore after these 400 years. Guess what they're going to take now? Your money. That's what they're doing. They're coming to take our money. We're seeing it in China. They're coming to take African money. We're seeing it in America for the longest time, but most of us don't know it. It's been happening in America. America is no longer, even they take the brain, they take everything. They're now concentrating on the money. We have to be mindful of that. That's a discussion for another day. And I will give you detail on this with evidence. Thank you, everybody. Free the land. The North Municipal Council hereby issue this resolution. We, the members of North Municipal Council, wish to take this opportunity to welcome you to the city of North New Jersey as a special guest speaker at the African North International presentation.
presentation of the Pan-African Unity Empowerment Forum commemorating Juneteenth and recognizing 400 years from a 100 year anniversary of enslaved African from 1619 to 2019. And as Mildred Crump would always say, no matter what, after we are all gone, they will recognize that the folks here in the city of Newark that you were here, and we recognize you, the president of Ghana, Ghana, that we are joining together is no doubt in our mind. We are already planning really to try to connect with every country, all the 54 countries in Africa and the Caribbean. But on behalf of Mildred Crump and the Lord Municipal Council, we want you to accept this. Hey! <laughs> 